Hello everybody! So, today I have a special treat for you. The Roller 3D on Etsy sent me a whole bunch of models as thanks for using his Lusitania model in my video on the Lusitania and for praising it in its high quality detail. And today I'm just going to review the models that he sent me. These are the two that I originally had, the Lusitania and Mauritania. And originally, I planned on doing an unboxing video. Um, but that footage got corrupted, so much like the RMS Olympic, that idea was scrapped. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Now, the first model I have for you to hear today is the RMS Aquitania. Gorgeous model. This, I believe, is called the Olympic of the Cunard line. She was much larger than the Lusitania or Mauritania. Uh, like I said, more comparable to the Olympic class. All of these models are 3D printed. So you notice the aft superstructure there, signature of the Cunard line. Here we have the SS Californian, uh, the ship that was the big what if, as it's called on the website. This vessel is a gorgeous recreation. This is the vessel that ignored Titanic's distress calls. The four masts here were sent along with it, but I had to add them myself. They are not, they're not even like glued in or anything. You just stick them on there and it's, they stick, see, they're, they're in there firm. So yeah, incredibly high quality. You don't see too many of this. I believe this is the P and O line. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but yeah, one of the most hated ships in the community. Up next, one of the most beloved ships, the Anti-Californian, otherwise known as the RMS Carpathia. Gorgeous ship, really. Incredibly well done. I like ships like these. Single funnel. It just seems such like a... It, I don't know how to describe it. It just seems such of a ship. Like a ship how it really is. You see the Olympic class and it's so notable with its profile, but this is just a ship. It's just how it is. Um, yeah. People carrier. Uh, I believe it was en route to Austria-Hungary the night of the Titanic disaster when it rescued its survivors. And yeah, awesome model. Up next, the third ship in Titanic story, the SS Nomadic, still exists today, um, sitting around in Belfast, Ireland. Gorgeous little model. Um, these are not to scale with anything. I don't think these are connected other than um, Lusitania and Mauritania, but this model is high quality. It's probably the largest scale model they have available. Um, yeah. The Roller 3D doesn't just do ships though. They also do 3D printed models of the city of Dallas, I believe, and Egyptian gods. So that's pretty cool. Huh? Up next, we have the RMS Queen Mary, uh, the largest ship they offer. This is enormous. I didn't realize how large her draft was until I actually got my hands on this model that they sent me. Um, yeah, incredibly well done. I noticed one of the lifeboats was missing here and it didn't break off or anything. I think that was an intentional choice. So if someone knows why that is, why there's one missing there, let me know. Um, yeah, like I said, the funnels are added on um, after the printing is done. Really high quality here. And this is currently docked in Long Beach, California, one of the few ships offered that was not actually lost. I believe this is the only ship that I have from the Roller 3D that is still around today, other than the Nomadic. This is the RMS Olympic, um, one of my first videos ever was the RMS Olympic. Incredibly high quality model. This is on par with Titanic HG, minus the painting of the deck. But given how cheap these are compared to the, given how cheap these are compared to Titanic Honor and Glory, I think they are much worth it. And I mean, Titanic Honor and Glory takes what, a year to arrive? This has arrived every single time, four days before it says it was due to arrive. They arrive super early, and that might just be my proximity to their workshop, but yeah, it's just awesome. Up next, we have the least admired White Star Liner, the RMS Titanic. Beautifully printed. Um, this is one of their older renderings of Titanic, so it's slightly less detailed than the Olympic, but still pretty high quality compared to some of the other things you'll see online. Yeah, just really well done. Notice no forward promenade like on the... Olympic model, that's what is what mostly people use to distinguish them. But even here you can see there are two lifeboats there, not just the one. I see that on a lot of models. I have a Titanic model over there that only has one. 
Now for the final of the Olympic class, the HMHS Britannic, beautifully printed model. Um, really, I must say, this is this is even one of their older renderings, but it's pretty accurate. The only thing is, I did point out to them there should be a covered shelter deck there, and they're working on that to fix that. But other than that, yeah, pretty high quality. Um, notice there's no dual forward gantry dra forward gantry davits. There's only one, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I like that. Now for the last of their 3D printed collection that I have, the Edmund Fitzgerald. Gorgeous model. I did not realize how long it was, but you can kind of imagine how it, you know, just split in half. Uh, yeah, before I actually knew about the ship, I was not aware that there was a song called The Sinking of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I learned about the ship before I learned about the song. And yeah, um, I would sing it for you, but that's not going to happen. And now for the last thing they sent me. This resin model of the RMS Titanic. Beautiful. This is one they don't actually offer in their shop. This was just sent to me as a token of friendship. This is just super well done. Hand painted. Uh, you can see all the details, even on the railing. You can see the detail there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not great with camera work. Um, but yeah, you can even see two boats there for their lifeboats. Really high quality. And they even sent me, if I can get it, this stand for it to sit atop. So yeah, incredibly high quality stuff. Go check out the Roller 3D on Etsy, uh, hashtag not sponsored. They did not sponsor me or anything. They just sent me these for free, just as kind of a thank you. Um, they're good people, they're a family business, and it just started with a man in his garage in Oklahoma. So you know that they are really just high quality and just go support an American business, especially in COVID times. So go check them out, link in the description. Thank you for watching. What did we learn today? Well, uh, I guess technically we learned the Titanic had no forward promenade A deck here. So there you go. That's what you've learned. Now coming up, they're planning on releasing the Andrea Doria and the SS United States. So keep a watch on their shop. Uh, thank you for watching and please, please, please go support them.